Hey YouTube, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. Today I'm going to test out and review this Antop HD Smart Bar Amplified Indoor Antenna. This is a very low profile antenna to the point it doesn't even look like an antenna. It looks like one of those sound bars that you put underneath your TV set or it also comes with the stand so you can put it up like this and it looks like one of those tower speakers. This antenna comes with an adjustable amplifier with outputs to two TV sets and a built-in 4G LTE filter to filter out any interference from nearby cell towers. Looking at the design of this antenna, it's very unique. It doesn't look like an antenna at all. But at the very least, it looks like the elements inside this antenna should be long enough to pick up VHF TV frequencies. Many small flat antennas lack the long element to pick up VHF TV frequencies. What are VHF and UHF TV frequencies? VHF TV stations broadcast on channels 2 through 13, specifically 2 through 6 for low VHF and and 7 through 13 for high VHF. They typically require a longer element like these little rabbit ears in order to reliably be picked up. And then UHF TV stations broadcast on channels 14 and above, and they're usually picked up better with smaller antenna elements like this little circle on this antenna. It's important to note that most TV stations do not broadcast on the channel they brand themselves under. In New York alone, there's CBS2, NBC4, and Fox5. So the average person would say, oh, channels 2, 4, and 5, they broadcast on the VHF band. I need a VHF antenna. Well, as it turns out, these TV stations actually broadcast on the UHF band. To find out what channels your local TV stations are broadcasting on, go to antennaweb.org, type in your address, and look for the RF channel number. The virtual channel is a channel that the station identifies as. So in my market, NBC28 WBRE. But the RF channel is the channel that they broadcast on. I'm now going to test out this antenna in the same location that I've tested out various other indoor antenna models. Most of the TV stations that I am testing out are about 45 miles away, both on the VHF and UHF band. Here's a list of the stations along with their RF channels and their signal strengths on the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. On the left side, you'll see the type of diffraction on the TV station. One edge means single edge diffraction or one ridge between me and the transmitter weakening the signal. LOS means line of sight with virtually no obstructions in the way. You can also find the results of various other indoor antenna models including the Clearstream 2 Max and Mohu Leaf by checking out my other videos. The signal strength on WNEP, which broadcasts on UHF channel 50, was higher with this Antop antenna compared to the two prior indoor antennas that I tested out. The signal strength on WYOU, which broadcasts on VHF channel 13, was significantly higher with this antenna compared to the two prior antenna models I tested out. It couldn't even be picked up on the generic flat antenna. The same holds true for WBRE, which broadcasts on VHF channel 11. The signal was significantly higher with this antenna compared to the two prior antenna models that I tested out. I can tell that the length of this antenna is definitely benefiting those VHF channels. The signal strength on Fox 56, which broadcasts on UHF channel 22, was about the same on this antenna compared to the generic flat antenna that's mainly optimized for the lower end of the UHF spectrum, but was definitely higher than the GE antenna. To my surprise, this antenna was actually able to lock in a picture from the low power WNJB repeater station in my area. This is one of only two indoor antenna models I've tested out that was able to lock in this TV station. Overall, this antenna really surprised me. I thought it would just be another pretty antenna that's just junk. Most pretty looking antennas don't work well, but this antenna actually worked pretty well for an indoor antenna. One thing I will say is if you end up purchasing this antenna and have VHF TV channels in your market, most markets do, make sure you lay the antenna horizontally like this and not vertically like this or else it may mess up your reception. As far as the 80 mile range claim, that's definitely a stretch for any indoor antenna, mainly due to the TV signals fading due to the curvature of the earth, Q, the flat earth comments, and also due to the building material in your house weakening the signal. It's gonna be very hard to get TV stations from 80 miles away with any indoor antenna, so indoor antennas really shouldn't be claiming 80 mile range. 
But overall, I'd say this antenna would work best if you live within 50, maybe 60 miles of the broadcast towers, and the area you live in is relatively flat. It's also a good choice for people who don't want an antenna to be seen. I can't tell you how many people reach out to me and say, I don't want an antenna because my wife doesn't want it on my roof. In general, you are going to get the best reception with an outdoor antenna. But if you're restricted to using an indoor antenna, this antenna may do the job for you. I attached the link in the description of my video. In the meantime, this antenna is sold out on Amazon, so make sure you follow the link in my description to purchase it on the Antop website if you feel this antenna is a good fit for you. Thanks again for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more cord cutting antenna related information. Like me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA and have an awesome day.